What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and today I want to discuss something that I've heard, you know, people bring it up, but no one's really talked about too much, and that is how, you know, I mean, alright, so think about this, everybody who, you know, stacks generic silver bullion especially, believes that eventually either an economic collapse is going to happen, or an economic displacement that is going to skyrocket silver and gold prices once the manipulation is over and people see the true value of them, but... No one's considering the other benefits of this, with the big one being the fact that, well, G I mean, just like when, uh, you know, that 1970D over 1941 Canadian quarter came up, silver stacking could be the next big trend. I mean, think about it. <coughs> Excuse me, you know. Right now, silver gets, I mean, I guess it depends on the video, but some silver videos have gotten a decent amount of views. I mean, I've seen... A full stack video of you know seven hundred thousand or seven hundred fifty thousand views, which is pretty impressive. I mean, and I've seen other video, you know silver videos with hundreds of thousands, but none of them really break a million. I mean, other than one coin roll hunting video on YouTube, none of them have broken a million. And so, not that many people in the grand scheme of things have heard of silver stacking, as opposed to something like video games or something like that. But when you think about the fact that, let's say. You know, the economies of the world, I mean, are starting to fall. People, just like in the past, are going to go look to, you know, tangible assets. With, among those, silver and gold. And the popularity of them is going to boom. Only, the last time this happened, there wasn't the internet. Now, people are going to be, you know, just dis destroying the search, uh, search terms on YouTube, looking for silver videos. I mean... You know, they're going to be searching all these videos on advice, you know, best kind of silver for that situation, everything. It's going to be coming up. And all those videos that are targeted towards beginners are going to start to explode. I mean, think about it. It could be the next big trend, or at least a trend in the future, because the popularity is going to shift so much to silver and gold among, you know, other assets, as opposed to other things, because who's going to care to watch a video about, video, uh, video about you know, someone playing video games or something like that? That's not going to help you. What is going to help you is, you know, advice on how to survive this situation. You know, what to do. I mean, how to get out of it. So, when you think about it, like I, like I brought up before, the quarter thing, the whole 1970D quarter that, you know, had been uh, printed over, or printed, probably not the right term, I guess minted, over a 41 Canadian quarter, that was causing a lot of silver, or a lot of quarter videos and stuff on YouTube that I saw to get really big. I mean, videos literally just about regular quarters were starting to explode. And people were just, you know, just searching for quarters. I mean, and even the videos that weren't even about that 70D quarter were blowing up. Like, my video about the value of a silver Washington quarter went from, like, you know, 700 views to, like, 2,300 in a few days simply because of the fact that everybody was searching for quarters. I mean, everyone was looking for them, and my video seemed, I guess, to make sense to them because of the fact that it was at least about the value of them, and, you know, the whole thought was that, well, these are super valuable. Anyway, so, you know, maybe this guy will include it, which, of course, my videos were from way before the whole thing came out anyway, but even that, which seems like a minor thing in the grand scheme of things, it's got a lot of attention. So imagine the amount of attention that would be, you know, on a, a world event, like an you know, economic collapse. Imagine... How many people would be shifting out of fiat currency and into real tangible assets? It's just something to think about, though. But I do hope you enjoyed the quick video. And that is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.